The lack of sanitation and safe water is a worldwide problem. According to statistics, over 1.1 billion people do not have access to clean water. Every 20 seconds, a child dies as a result of poor sanitation. More than 3.4 million people die each year due to the lack of access to clean water and sanitation. The majority are women and children in rural poor areas who lack access to safe water and sanitation. More than 900 million people rely on unimproved drinking water supplies. And for 2.6 billion people have the developing world lack even a simple improved latrine. Due to slow progress and population growth, the number of people living without access is expected to increase dramatically by 2015 if nothing is done to improve the situation. Africa alone have about half of the worldwide water and sanitation problem. In Liberia, more than 1.2 million, 32% of the population, people lack access to safe drinking water. The report also states that 3.2 million, 83% of the population do not have access to sanitation. In some part of Liberia, especially in overpopulated areas like cities and towns, waste management is a very big problem. Water bodies and streets are commonly used as trash cans. Investigation proves that many Liberians up country still drink from creeks, rivers, etc. They also use nearby bushes, dump sites, beaches, and water banks to defecate. Estimates also prove that over 11,000 900 people die every year due to poor water and sanitation in Liberia. We don't have no place to get drinking water and nothing. We need to go all the way to the street for water. What are some of the things that you want to see happen? At least they can help us to cover the drinking At least they will help us. They will open the whole day. Everybody just turn in their trunk in the all water. At least they can help us to close the whole place. They can go far for us. And then what will you uh, like for them to help the community? No one for the police have to come here, bring him from here, make sure they put up their water, always. Wow. I'm uh, here, William TV, speaking to you. I live at Kepsi. I've been on the kitchen job for LME almost two years now. I don't have no requirement pay, not. Can I ask you, what are some of the difficulties you people are going to go through in cleaning up? Because it is a place where you know, that is overcrowded, like you know, the water side. We are committed to bring dirt to the street. We are committed to bring dirt. And in the store, the store is in here. We die to the street, but they say that they pay money, they say the corporation. Rest money pay 130 US and 50 US, 50 US every month. But the street is still dead. And I said the corporation, um, MCC, well, they don't know what they're doing. They see the drop out of the street. So I, I don't know, my brother, I don't know. Oh, Mama Liberia. You gotta wash up. Ooh, yeah. You gotta wash up. Now. Dust. So you gotta wash up in the morning. People running, jumping. Yes, some we still be sleeping. Why others go in you know, to do their duty? What are you waiting for? So you gotta wash. You gotta wash up. The sleeping people must wake up. Don't you mind some of them? For they may have. What are you looking for? Oh no, that they feel way down in the book. So you gotta wash up. My name is King Marvin Slow. Sliding down the mountain, the water is the mountain. You know what I mean? Okay. I do reggae music. And I'm emphasizing on this thing that you are talking about today. Very good. Because whenever the city is clean, yeah. you will see that there will be more hefty to you and I in yeah. our life. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, the advice I have for those people out there is that we all should keep sanitation very, 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 very serious. I pray that the message from this um, project will surely go out into the world, let people to know what sanitation is all about. 
And I also pray that uh, organizations out there who probably hear this song knows what impact it's going to make in our society and then help in any possible way. I think the first thing that we should start with is education because I think uh, when the proper education being put in place, I think it's going to help if not eradicate but, but uh, at least many mass it in a way that you know people we can be able to or reduce the rate of which people fall fall ill music is, is one thing that we need to educate the people with both on radio on the television on billboards banners posters on the internet i mean whatever social media platforms that we can be able to get well first of all as an artist and as a regular person I think that our people, as in Africans, should take the initiative to start cleaning up their surroundings and not only depend on government. Government can do everything, okay? We need to take a stand. We need to start doing things for ourselves because we're the ones who are going to benefit from them. That's the only way to go. Well. I think we need more education on it, awareness. We need help to create more public awareness through songs, be it movies, in the classrooms, or whatever. But we need to create public awareness so that the people, our citizens, and other people around Africa, West Africa, and Liberia can also be educated and know that they're not supposed to throw trash on the ground, they're not supposed to drink dirty water, and we need those facilities to help our people. With education, everything is possible. The poor people, they're not only waiting to enter in the classroom before they learn about sanitation, this, that, the other. For them, it doesn't mean anything. But when they see their artists on the streets, singing and dancing, they're interested. They get around, and that's where they hear the message in the song. Saying, oh, keep your, keep your area clean, do this, do that. And they're like, wow, okay, we have our artists talking about this. I think this is what we need to do. Typical example. We went on set today to record. And right after we got through singing the song, this guy looked at the other guy. Say, hey, you, I hope you're not going to throw that dirty water over there. Don't put it there. I mean, the message was clear. It got to him. So we need more of that. Okay, I just want to say um, I love you, many. I care for you, and I want you to always take care of your health. Always drink safe drinking water. And for you out there, philanthropics, you want to help people, I think you're going to help them with water. They will like it because water is life. So I China Kunani, I'm saying, give the people safe drinking water, come and help people in Africa. I think sanitation is one of the issues that people neglect around the world today, especially in Africa, like countries like Liberia, you know, uh, the, the, um, the issue with health here is so, 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 so deteriorated and so bad for the people living in, you know, in poor communities. I want our people to all engage into you know, sanitation policy, try to keep your environment clean, and whatsoever you think you're able to do to keep yourself healthy, please start doing it for now. And then uh, our government, for that matter, I'll say again, please bring in facilities so that our people living under this bad situation to be able to live a livelihood and have a better life. And for you watching the video right now, if you got any hand, any help, any way that you can be able to you know, make an impact in these people's life, please do that. Because it's so bad and there's no life when there's no help and there's no water. Okay. Sanitation. Sanitation.
in your glasses, let's look at it Sanitation is what you need So keep your area and city clean Always keep the dirt away Always keep the dirt away Cleaning glasses, let's look at it Sanitation is what you need So keep your area and city clean Always keep the dirt away This is not a compliment to the definition Scientitions is like a predicament Every community need like dreams development If my people need help education I recommend